Hello YouTube and welcome back again to another video of this today. Today is going to be a StarCraft 2 replay. This was uh, sent to me kindly by um, the folks over at All Ireland StarCraft and this is a ZVT um, on Expedition Lost and this is coming from QCon. Um, this was an, uh, it was an All Ireland, it was an Irish uh, StarCraft and Esports General place that happened I believe in Belfast um, a few uh, I think about a month ago now give or take um, and this is one of the games from it that was kindly sent to me so this is well let's introduce the player shall we um, we have playing in the top right hand corner we have playing as the red zerg we have Ike and in the Bottom left hand corner, we have playing as the Blue Terran. We have TSI's Bake uh, Bake Monoda. I cannot say that name. This is actually my second time watching this replay because I forgot to set my bloody uh, mic on. My mic on in the first time I re bloody recorded this, which is pretty stupid. But anyway, up here we have a proxy barks straight off the bat for. Um, for Bacon Mundo, which is going to be interesting because there, so far there's no spawning pool, unfortunately for him. And he's not going to see this uh, missing barracks pretty quickly, he's not going to see it for a very long time. And he is going for, and fortunately, he's going for, for an hatchery first. So he'll be very hard pressed to not take damage from this, to say the least. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty bad because, well, he has no units. For example, Zerglings. And he still is, think he's got to do it now, is he? Sorry for the freezing. I don't know what order lag drops. It's really annoying. But uh, now he's getting the spawn of Bill, so. The first marine is just coming out. He's not going to do much with one marine, really. Um, but you never know. Maybe you get lucky. This is just at the tent. The uh, possibility to do damage, but we'll see. So far, no drones have been killed. Um, that's a lovely placement of the. Uh, the what's it called the turn I'm trying to say bunker he does catch the second marine though so that's very very good for him um for uh, Ike here so he's able to really hold his off and so far he has not lost drones I don't think he's lost one drone so that's actually really really good for him because well he's not really gonna be able to do anything because one marine can't kill all those drones and really, besides the lost mining mining time, this is actually he's actually defended this pretty excellently. Because he like what's he doing behind this? He is expanding behind this, which is good, so it's not a complete all in. But like he's not gonna be able to really do anything because odd oh, and the other marines do get picked off by the drones. So if we go to uh, resources lost, which is which I actually can't find because I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, I'm still working out this, so, you know, please don't kill me for this. But, um, anyway, we're going to production. Let's go back and do it. But yeah, he has lost more, a lot more than, say, um, than Baked Munda has lost, has, um, really, didn't really do get much with that done. And he lost a lot to do it, so. It wasn't really a very good choice on his part. It didn't really work out as well as it could have for him. Besides the obvious last mining down. And the Zerg only being on one base still at the five minute mark. But you know, we have. What are we doing now? What is the big guy behind this? We have factory into barracks, into resumes the airport and the rest. The barracks scout! The great barracks scout! What a meta play here! What a. What, this is the play that everyone's doing online, the barracks scout here. Excuse me, one second guys, let me just pause this. You think after doing this twice you'd, I'd remember to, uh, you know, fix the sound. But because I'm such a dumbass, I didn't. So let me just... 
Where is the... Turn you down. So I can actually hear myself think. Where is... We should have like, you know, the effects. Because that would be the best, but anyway. I'll do it for a minute. I'll do it properly later. So hopefully you could actually hear what I'm saying. If I didn't, that's really bad, but... You know, no. So we are, we have some, um... Let's see what actually this site is for both players right now. Oh, I want to see what they're doing. I want to see... Okay, so... Uh, Ike has absolutely no idea what he's doing right now, which is really not good. F um, and as far as Bake Mundo scouting, let's see. Well, he's probably seen. Yeah, he's seen everything. So he definitely knows everything he needs to know. Yeah, the flood is early is coming in, but he's walled off, so he's not going to get anything done. Tried to he tried to catch the SCV there, but didn't get lucky. So far, the crease is beginning to spread. Actually, he's found that that little um, attack has finally been dealt with with the spine collar and everything else. We have only one gas been taken, so speed I don't think has been done yet. So let me check. Nope, speed has not been done yet. So that's unfortunate. Speed's still not done by nearly the 10 minute mark, so I think that's a win in itself. That barracks is still being floated around, it's not been brought back yet. We have a tech lab being added to the barracks. We have a lot of. We have a lot of Marines beginning to be pumped out. It's a very good macro being played by both players. Still hasn't expanded. Which I think would be a worry because he's we're going to be running out of minerals soon. Well, actually, no, he's not. I don't know what I'm saying. But, you know, he is building out now. And he's going to deny that third base by um, for Ike right now because of the barracks, which is very unfortunate for him. That's a really nice play. Just got it down before the uh, the, uh, the um, hatchery went down, so that's really nice. Delayed that place a small bit. We have a layer being f being uh, made and steam coming for um, Big Monday, and the speed has finally been done at the near 10 minute mark. <laughs> Such great skills. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. To see how everything goes. Let's see what the armies armies are like for everyone right now. Where is it? I uh, cannot find it because I'm such a douche. Cause I'm such a bad player. What am I doing? Um, yeah, whatever. Production, let's go back to production. My <laughs> right, unit's still. I'm in here. Uh, we have one um, Viking here and it's in the pick off overlords, which is pretty nice. We have a lot of Zerglings. Some Hellions, so it's pretty normal stuff right now. Back to production, where is it? here okay we have bailing nest coming down we have upgrade we have the evolution chambers so the upgrades are being made we have a spire so we're going to go Ling Bane Muda for Ike and so far it's going to be just marines for right now a lot of bungers so we probably should be going to try banding busts we don't know we'll have to see and of course the people who know what they're talking who are actually there know what happened but you know <laughs> um we have Good stim lab. Nothing coming out of that um, starport for now. No medivacs or anything. Just surprised me. He is going on to his third base though. That's pretty good. Because if he can keep the Zerg on three bases, which which would be nice. But so far, no um, attempt to move out really, except for the Viking who's picking off overlords, which is great. And um, very handy. We have a drop actually. Did actually see this drop? My bad. Um, yeah, let's see how good the damage has been done. Uh, let's see what happens. Let me suppose like that. Let's see. Because I'm... Control or that's it. So, a few drones were lost. Not that many. He still managed to keep uh, most of them alive. He actually defended that pretty well with the spine crawler. Um, we have Banelings on the way and Mutas. So, that was drone... That was... Um, those uh, drops aren't going to do much damage, I don't think, with the Munis out. If he gets them, obviously, in the right spot. The Vikings, are, the Viking is still moving around trying to pick off overlords, but... With the Queen there, I don't think he's going to catch that. I'd be surprised if they catch that overlord. That drop still hasn't done anything, really. 
I think he must have went back in and lost it again, so. Some reduced mining time, and that's about it. Let's see what the upgrades are like, actually, for both players. Just, uh, no sign of plus one for, one one for, um, for, uh, actually, no, he does have thing, he just hasn't made it yet. And he has, has the way of getting plus two as well with the armory, so. Possibly gonna make the, um, transition into Hellbats, which would be an interesting choice. You can do it because of the, um, because of the uh, armory, because that's uh, now free, which is very handy. Four space coming down for for um, Ike here, and we have a drop coming in too. It's going to be interesting. He's going to not going to get anything done if he goes that way. Because look at all those units, and five widow mines being pumped out. Jeez, he's not. He's going for the heavy widow mine play here. Jesus, going to be interesting to see how this goes. Five winner mines, jeez. And with drilling cars coming in as well, so. Damn, this is gonna be, uh, he's going for heavy widow mines this time. Plus two is on a wait for the Zerg, and plus one is only being researched for, um, actually, plus one and plus one armor is being researched for, excuse me. But he does know the mutas are around, and they're, that little drop there just got completely screwed. Taken out, we have hell that's did that you get changed back into. But he is starting to stabilize on three bases, which is around very good for the Zerg. But that is a lot of winner mines being pumped out there. Five, jeez. And still more coming, so. Going for heavy, heavy into the widow mine fields, so. Could go for the gold. It'd be interesting, choice. Be let make things very interesting. That Pro Marine is gonna get killed by some mutas. Not very nice. It's about to run into, uh, into a missile launcher, which isn't very good. Yeah, moving on to creep, though. Big Monday is moving on to creep, which is a very interest. Well, you have to be careful in case he doesn't get run over by um by uh, everything. <laughs> Say the least. Mute is moving in. Oh, here we go. The five possibly coming. Both both teams posturing on creep. <laughs> he just leaves that air. Uh. Ah, uh, the bane links. The bane links. Here we go. Oh, what's that? What am I gonna do? Oh, it doesn't go from. And he get, takes in a muta, which is but the bane links. Unfortunately, the widow mine is worth what he was hoping for. Unfortunately, but look at those widow mines though. It's still possible to hit him. Ah, oh, like that. Taking out like five or six banelings there. Jeez, that's not nice at all. What's the army supply like right now? Nope, oh, sound. Uh, army supply is in favor of the Zerg, but not by much. It's gonna be interesting to see how he does. They have even more barracks being placed down by the Zerg. It's going heavy macro right now. He's got plus two on the way, plus two Zerg melee, and plus two carp, and plus two carp is is coming on the way as well. And also flying weapons, which is actually, actually no, that improves. Sorry, excuse me, improves overall speed. Possible. Oh, what's gonna happen now? He's got the Zerg coming in. Things again getting hit by the widow mines, which is really not what you want. It's really not much about what you want for the Zerg, but the surround comes and. Again, more bailings coming. What are they gonna do? They're taking out. They're bringing back. They're coming in right into more bailings, and they do or more widow mines, and they just got absolutely eaten those widow mines so badly right now. It does force a cancel, but that was really not a nice bail. That was not, not, not a nice widow mine hit to take. The widow mine hits are pretty legendary right now, and they're still coming. More widow mines are still being placed down. Let's have a look at the units really quick. I want to see how many widow mines he has. He has 19 widow mines. 19. Jesus, that's one hell of a widow mine field. And he has it covered all around as well. So if he does go through, like, say here and here, he's going to eat the widow mines. And that's really not what you want to eat with your uh, with your high gas units. Let's say, for example, um. Uh, with the mutas and the 
excuse me, widow, uh, banelings and um, widow my or yeah, banelings and mutas. Excuse me, Jesus, is kind of tough right now. Again, lovely banelings. It's not really not he really eating the banelings right now. He's really not getting very good hits with them, and he's losing a lot for very little. Drop here coming in. And he's just gonna get cleaned up here. Nothing particularly interesting happened. The Mutas did clear out that um, base there though, which is very good. Forced to cancel on again. But that base over here is very much uh, stabilized and ready to go. He is beginning to mine out in his main and natural though. So he really needs to get that base down for his economy. But back up here, another drop happens. And more Widow Mines. 16 Widow Mines right now. Looks really quick. Still, the Widow Mines keep pumping out. They're pumping out five at a time. Really, really nice. Upgrades. I'm going to check what upgrades are right now. So it's 2 2 versus 2 2, but um, the, the Bake Munda is going on to 3 2 right now. Uh, same with like, so 3 3 is coming out with Ultralisks, which is very good. Unfortunately, these are Legacy Devoid Ultralisks from. Uh, I haven't played that much of Legacy Devoid from what I've heard about Ultralisks. They seem to be pretty beastly. And um, when you get them upgraded, let's look at what the players are doing. We have three tree going up. Um, we have another expansion coming down. He's actually expanding. Yeah, he's expanding more toward the Zerg base, which I. Very risky thing to do, he's expanding towards the creep if you get me. And the mutas are able to deal with it if he knows it in time. I don't think he knows the mutas here. So he is knows it now, but he's trying to dance with them here. It's gonna be interesting to see if he pulls it off, but that is a lot of units there. Let's look at the army supply really quick. Army supply isn't just even, it's pretty much even right now. Worker supply is definitely in favor of the Zerg though, that's for sure, but then again, Taran have mules, so. That doesn't really make a difference, really. And here we go. Look at him out of Mutus. Or Mutus, one of mine's even. And the Banelings are just getting nothing done. I think that's the problem. The splits are very good from, um, are pretty good from Bakemunda, but the Widow Mines are just eating the Banelings so badly. They're just getting nothing done. And that's the main problem here. With no with the widow mines just basically taking them all out. But he is on the um in the, uh, is on the front foot right now. He has no widow mines right now, but and of course the um what's it the Ultralix are doing well, you've got a flood of Zergnings coming. But again they just all the widow all, is that all the mutas? I think that's all the mutas dead, yeah. Here's the thing I was looking for earlier. For God's sake, stupid. But let's look at the. Yeah, he's only down to eight muta, six mutas right now. So that widow mines did again take out a lot of high gas units. So right now, the Zerg is kind of on the defensive. I think. Well, he's on defensive. He's kind of even, but I think the Terran is in a much better position. Even though he has the. Uh, uh, even though. Yeah, this about even though the army spies are just even with the widow mines hitting the way they are, if they do continue, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be hard to uh, stop. And again, see what I mean? He's just eating the mutas, which is really unfortunate for him. Trying to bait the mute, <laughs> trying to bait the widow mine shots out of um. More from those bendings, pretty close to the fight, here we go. It's how are the winning my shots gonna hand out? Very, very deadly again. Again, it's just not going well for him right now with those bailing or for those middle mine hits they're eating his units. Pretty badly. It's not the best right now for him. For Ike here. Sorry if I'm butchering your names, what do I? If you're watching this and yeah, I'm butchering your name, I'm sorry. I'm very bad with that, unfortunately. So, yeah, if I'm butchering your name, sorry. <laughs> but Bake Monda is expanding again here. Expanding up there, and he is actually getting it pretty stable right now. 
but the Zerg force is coming and his army is out of position here. So that base might be forfeit depending on how it works out. But the army is right there so he has to be careful. And here we go. Attacks is spitting up his force here and again that force is pushed back and he doesn't take planetary here. Not the best. He has no Zerglings. He has 10 Mutas, 6 Ultralisks and 7 Banelings. He needs more against this heavy uh, Marine Marauder Widowmine push. Very standard here. And with the, especially with the Widowmines hitting the way they are. It's going to be interesting. We have a drop possibly coming in which is an interesting choice. Especially with the good amount of mutas he has. It isn't, it isn't death ball mutas. Muta, um, death ball mutas. Uh, in, is at the death ball mutas stages level yet. Sorry. I cannot talk right now. But um, so far. Everything's going well for Deterrent. I think he's in the advantage right now. Especially if those Widowmines keep hit connecting the way they are. Good, tr very, very good trend to use there. Very good, keeping that uh, ultra list alive. He has infestors now, which can do well if he can hit them. He does not need them taken out by one uh, Marauder there. So luckily, he does manage to get that to get them away. Spine crawlers around. He's not going. Oh, he's going for it. No, he's not going for um smoke crawlers, but it just reminds me. They're right on the drops. I think. Ow! Oh, all of them in the orange there. So many, so many widow mines. This ten. I wonder how many widow mines he's built in this thing, in this game. It is a very, very close. That's very, very close for um. Oh, he's not doing anything with his army, so must be microing back at home. And here we go. He's going to be kind of caught in the back in the middle of a widow mine. Yeah, this is going to be very bad for the zerg. The investors hit art, that's a nice good fungal, but as just doesn't have enough. He's too many high tech units, he doesn't have like the I suppose the meat with his army here. His Zerg is coming out now, but he should have had them before, to be honest. He should have done a lot better there. Um he just didn't have the right army to beat this army, I don't think. Which is unfortunate. He has a lot more Baneleys coming, but I think it just has too much right now for the ter for the Terran player or for the Zerg player to stop. The so I think he's going to forfeit on this base, and I think it's going to be GG for the Terran player. Bake Monoda does take this game, I think, very very handily. He does try to make one last defense. The banging hits are great, but he just doesn't have enough. Drones, drones are pulled, and those drones are just going to their deaths. And the mutas are trying to hold this line, but the blue flood does keep coming. And I don't think he has enough. He does not have enough, in my opinion, to hold. He's going back to his widow mice that have been glorious for him before, and they're just going to eat it. And I think that's going to be yeah. He's down to what four mutas, four queens, four infestors, 30 zerglings against 22 marauders and 13 marines, and they're with 17 widow mines. He just does not have enough. To top this army, the widow my hits were amazing, and it I does GG out, and for some reason he's deciding to keep going, possibly for a uh, because he just wants to take out the space. Who knows? But yeah, that is the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's see how long he goes before he GGs out. He decides to destroy his entire base. Um, very very good play by both players. The Widowman hits were glorious. The Muta work was actually very good. He does manage to get cancels on both bases at the start. Um, so generally it was great play by both players and um, it was very fun game to watch. Uh, those Widowman hits were glorious weren't they? <laughs> but anyway, if you hope, you've, I hope you've enjoyed this guys. I do hope to do more of these. Um, if I get more replays, I do hope to cast more StarCraft 2. I do love it, casting. I do love watching the game. So, and and to the lesser extent, playing it because I'm terrible at it. So please don't ask for live commentaries of uh, StarCraft 2 because that would be just painful, painful for everyone to watch. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much for watching, and yeah, see you there.